since we've been observing plant uh, soil and uh, plants, we've been observing those. Um, we are going to today observe something else for our terrarium. And some of you have noticed what that was. We're going to be observing and exploring crickets and what it has to do and going to have to do with our um, with our uh, with our food chain. OK, so we're developing our food chain. Please turn to page 19 in your journals. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get our materials managers and I've got a tray of objects. I'm going to show you those objects first. OK, I'm going to uh, you're going to get materials managers are going to get a tray and on the tray you've got a container. Inside the container is a cricket. Now, there might be one or two containers with more than one cricket. OK, you're also going to get four magnifying glasses, okay? Once this is on your table, the materials managers can come get the terrarium as well, okay? So one terrarium per group. Uh -huh. Wow, a real live cricket. Wow. <laughs> Give me five. That means your hands are free, eyes on me. Give me five. Remember, we want to be participants, not observers. Okay. We're going to observe, but we want to take part in it. Okay, good job. Now, the first thing we're going to observe is, are the crickets. Now, that's what we've got. I want you to uh, think about, and I want you to talk to your, to your partner, to your buddy that's next to you, and I want you to decide whether or not you think that a cricket is an insect. Go ahead, talk to your buddy. Talk to your buddy. Decide whether or not a cricket is an insect. Because it got antennas. And uh oh, and a thorax, a head thorax and a head thorax. And they got antennas. No, the three body points. Oh the a cricket helps. Six legs, an uh, antenna, head, thorax, and an uh, actor. actor. Give me five and look at me. That means nothing is in your hands. Your eyes are on me. We want to stay participants. Okay. I'd like to see all beautiful eyeballs. Hey, you can straighten that out. That's fine. Okay, what did you decide is a cricket, an insect, and be ready to tell me why? Okay, Isabel? Me and I think a cricket's not an insect because insects, most insects have six legs and crickets only have four. Okay, okay, so you think it only has four. Does, uh, does anyone want to add to what Isabel is, is saying? Isabel, would you choose someone, please? I do you agree with Isabel? I don't agree with Isabel because uh, the uh, the cricket do the cricket does does ha yeah does have six legs and the uh, insect has a uh, actinum actinum thorax in the head with antenna. Okay, good job, uh, Skylar. Would you uh, enlighten us, please? I think it is an insect. A mean alien fox. I think it's an insect because it has six legs. Um, they need like somewhere to live, like in grass, and also they need to like have soil so they can dig on the ground. Okay, all right. Well, with that in mind, and guys, you've had awesome in, uh, conversation and good feedback. 
Excuse me? And also has antennas. Okay. Good, good, good. That you're you're absolutely right. What I'd like you to do now as a group is I want you to take your magnifiers and your eyes, and we're going to observe carefully. You're going to do numbers one and two. That means you are going to draw. You're going to observe the crickets in your container. You're going to draw a large picture of one of the crickets, and then you're going to use your chart at the bottom there, and you're going to answer question two. Do you think a cricket is an insect? Why or why not? So you're going to have to prove it with your drawing, and don't forget to label when you draw. Well, you have to be able to prove it. Wait a minute. Two inches. Wait a minute. What's that okay. in the back? It looks like another. It looks like another two sets of inches. Why do you say that? Just say now. Now. Okay. Did you look at your chart? Can you find everything? Yeah. Can you find everything on on the? Um, Okay, I like the way you're starting your drawing. Remember to label your drawings. Go ahead and start your drawing. Finish your drawing, hun. You want it turned around? There we go. Did you check and make sure that it has everything that's on the chart? Yes. You did? Okay. Can you draw it for me? Draw and label label the parts for me. Ah, I like the way you're using your chart to help you with your good job. What you're going to do is like you're going to draw a line like this and write what that part is. You're going to draw a line like this and and write down the word for that part. Okay? So you're going to name all the parts for me, okay? Boys and girls, give me five. Look at me and give me five. Look at me and give me five. I like the way your hands are free. I like that all eyes are on me. Right, Isaiah? Right, Drake? Thank you. Okay. We have, you've been doing some great observations. I'm seeing some wonderful drawings and labeling. You can continue, but I want you to answer number two right now. Let's go ahead and answer number two so we can begin our discussion. You have to tell me if it is an insect or not and why. Okay. Go ahead and answer number two, and then you can go back. Who like to share their response for number two. Who has it down and would like to share their uh, share their response? Okay, would you like to take the hot seat? Listen. I think it's an insect because it has six legs, three body parts, and four antennas. I know that because I took a magnifying glass and looked at it real close. Excellent. Okay. Jay, you want to go ahead and read yours? It is an insect because it got an abdomen, abdomen thorax, and a head, six legs, and, and, and four and antennas. That's, and that is why it's an insect. Okay. Nice job. Let's give them the firecracker clap, please. Good job. Let's have a seat. Okay. Now you've told me that this is an insect and you told me why. You told me that it had three body parts. What was one of the body parts that you noticed? What was one of the body parts? Yes. The thorax. The thorax. Um, and in a minute, I'm going to have you show me what that is and where it is. What's another body part that you saw? What's another body part? The legs. Good. Okay. What's another body part? Um, those little pictures on its nose. Okay. All right. What else did you notice and see? Isabel? The antenna. The antenna. The, the antenna. The antenna. Okay. All right. Go ahead. The, uh, the little. The little thing by the head. Is it, is it by the head or is it on the other end? It's by the head. It's by the head? 
Okay. It's legs. It's legs. Okay. All right. Well, let's look up here. I would like uh, CJ. What, weren't you one of the ones I'd asked you to? What body part did you identify? <laughs> would you come up here and show me where that is? The thorax. Do we agree that the thorax is between the head and the abdomen? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay. Who disagrees? Does anyone disagree? No. Okay. Good job. That's absolutely right. Who can name and I uh, show me where another body part is? Okay, Isabel. Antenna. Here, let's scoot over a little bit. There you go. The antenna. Okay. All right. The abdomen. Good job. Uh huh. The wings. Excuse me? The wings. The wings, yes. Now that's one thing I noticed that a lot of you did not have. And insects have wings, okay? There are wings. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, so we've identified the antenna, the thorax, the wings. What was the other one we identified? Ms. Hombeck's getting old, she's forgetting. The what? Huh? The thorax. the thorax, okay. Who can name another body part from up here? Um, Brian, come on up. The head. The head. Good. Skylar, can you identify another body part we haven't mentioned? The um, abdomen. The abdomen. Okay, the abdomen. Good job. Now, one thing that a lot of you, now I noticed that um, uh, Drake had these uh, on his um, drawing. And notice there is another extension here. Does anyone look at your, look carefully at your um, cricket. Does yours have this? It looks like a stick on the end there. Does it have that extension at the end? Some will, some won't. Some will, some won't. Raise your hand if you're a cricket. Raise your hand if you if you have a cricket that has that extension. Raise that, raise your hand. You might not have one, and that's okay. Um, okay, look up here. Put your crickets down. Look up here. Okay, this is called an ovipositor. And this is an ovipositor. What that does, that's on females. And it's a tube. And what that tube does is, is it delivers the eggs, the eggs go through that tube and they deliver it in the ground, okay? And so that's how they deliver their eggs, their little babies, their little eggs, okay? For fertilization and growth, okay? So that's an ovipositor. Now if, I want you to turn to page 19. You're going to answer three and four because you're going to look to see if you can find the following body parts on your cricket. If you don't have it labeled on your cricket, please label the body parts, okay? Yes. Um, I still have my question from earlier. Um, what are those two lines on the back of them? Okay. Those um, are like Celia. They're... Um, they're little hairs. They're little hairs. And what they do, what do you think they might do? Mm -hmm. help them in case they get lost. How would it help them in case they get lost? Like it's sensors when they're closed and it doesn't Okay, he is right that they're sensors. He is right that they're sensors. So they can feel, uh, and feel, and plus it helps. Have you heard the crickets make the noise when they rub their legs? Mm -hmm. Okay, that also helps in that too because it's got the little... Uh, they had the little hairy parts on those back legs. And um, it is the males that make the noise, not the females. Because one is going to sing, uh, they want to compete for the females. And so they want to say, oh, I'm the prettiest singer. So they're going to do that. Okay. Okay. 
Allie, would you please read? Gently touch the tip of your pencil to one of the Cricut's antenna. What does it do? Okay, so you're going to, and you're going to choose one person in your group. And we're going to let the leaders do that. The leader in each group is going to have that job. And you're going to just gently touch it. I'm not going to do it for you because I want you to observe what happens. When you just gently touch the antenna, you're not going to stab it. You're just going to gently touch that antenna. Okay? Gently touch that antenna. You can see what you're doing. No, just one person. Look, but you need to observe what he does. Please write down your observations. Put the lid back on the, the, the container. And please write down your observations. Be ready to share. Remember, when you're writing detail, you're painting a picture with words. Okay. I would like the reporter on each team to tell me what you observed. The reporter on each team. Now, the reporter on this team. Who's the reporter on this team? Okay, can you tell me what you observed? It just started to run away in oh. a circle. It started to run in a circle. Okay, do you have any ideas why that, that might have happened? No. No? Okay. Does anybody on your team have an idea? Go ahead. Because, um, maybe, um, he, the cricket was thinking that we were trying to threaten it. Okay. So by, by, by feeling that on his antenna, he thought that might have been a threat, so he's running away. All right. Good thinking. Um, who is the reporter in this group? Are you the reporter in your group? Can you tell me, um, can you tell the class? What yours did? The cricket jumped and ran around the box. He almost got out. Okay, good. Um, who is the, uh, thank you. I, guys, I'm liking your reasoning. I'm liking your responses. Um, Drake? Uh, who is the um, uh, reporter on this team? You are? Okay. Can you tell us what happened when the pencil was touched to the antenna? Um, when um, we was trying to uh, touch the ant, I mean the cricket with the pencil, um, it kept on running away in circles, and and we didn't get to touch it because it kept on jumping. Okay. Well, we touched it a couple times, but when we actually did touch it, there were some times we touched it a couple times and it stayed still. If we tried to touch it again, then the second time we tried to touch it, it ran off. Okay. All right. Nice job. Okay. I would like my materials people to come up here. What you're going to do, what the material managers are going to do when they get back to their uh uh, de uh, desks, they're going to fold their, their um, piece of construction paper in half. They're going to make a tent. It's going to look like a tent. And we're going to see what happens when we put this little tent inside the container. What do you think the cricket will do? First of all, I want you to turn to someone in your group and I want you to within your group, talk about, you can go on back, talk about what you think might happen when this is in there. Well, they I think it gets in the tent and makes me have Me too. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. What do you think will happen? What do you think will happen when the tent is placed inside the container. What do you think? I thought that it would just go inside of it and hide. Okay. All right. Jay. Um, I think it might be trying to um, smell or get the sense or something to figure out what it is because most of the crickets um, do do that in case it's like in a case it's like a danger or something. Okay. Do you think he'll uh, go inside it or go on top of it or what do you think he'll do? I think he's going to go inside. Okay. All right. All right. Let's observe. Uh, please put these. You can open up the cages. Have your friends have the team do it together. 
and make sure put the put the lid back on top so that the cricket doesn't hop out. Okay, now give it a few minutes. Let it, let's see what happens after a few minutes. Just just watch and see what it does. Okay. It's going in, but it's coming back out. It's observing. It's coming. It's observing it. Okay. The small one's going crazy. Look, yeah, I think the small one's trying to get out there, and the big, and the big one's just like walking around. Yeah. Now, what, what I want you to do now, and this, we're going to add our crickets to our terrarium. Wait a minute, you need to listen to all instructions first. Are eyes on me? Okay. You're going to carefully wait, uh, lift the lid, and then you can dump this out, and then take the, the tent out. And you, I want you to watch and see what happens. I will give you a lid for the containers in a moment, but go ahead and put your cricket in and observe. This is weird. I'm uh, all blind. I'm a judge. I'm Carmel. as a fool. Not that day. Why did she act like that? Right. You look Carmel. Yeah, it's probably even worse. Oh, it's gonna get bigger, 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 bigger. I need to be a lot more. Give me five. Give me five. Go ahead and put the lid on your terrarium and finish finish writing your observation on number seven, please. Describe how they move and what they do and where they go. Maybe it's tired. Maybe he needs some food. Maybe he has food in there. What do you think the food is? Grass. And grass. Okay. Let's let's write our observations. I know. Let's write our observations. Did, did you describe, did you paint a picture with words? Can you, uh, you, you still need to complete your writing, but who would like to, while we're finishing up our writings, who would like to share their observations? The cricket walked around at first. He ate some press, then we couldn't find him. And I saw some grass wiggling. Then, and he was in the dirt, but he climbed out and ate some more grass. After that, he climbed all over the grass. Okay, very good. Now, he said something very interesting that, um, uh, that he couldn't see him uh, at first in the grass, that they couldn't uh, think, think about what the cricket looks like, think about the coloring of the grass, and can you tell me um, about the color of the cricket and the grass and why that's important? It must have been camouflaged in itself because, uh, because of the predators. And he could have turned himself green or brown. And when he camouflaged himself, he, he blends into the grass. Okay, he blends into the grass. So it's kind of the same color of the grass sometimes. And the brown, uh, sort of the dirt. So he's hiding, isn't he? Um, uh, excellent, excellent. All right, we have been exploring. Books should be in your lap. 
we have been exploring crickets, okay? I want you um, to turn to a person next to you. You can group yourself in threes or two. Wait a minute. You don't know what you're going to talk about yet. Okay. And I want you to tell me, or I want you to discuss with, with each other, what were the most interesting things you found? Maybe something new you learned, something interesting, or um, uh, just something surprising, okay? All right, turn and, turn and discuss. When I was observing the crickets, I found something out. It was about the back legs. I didn't even know they had legs. I didn't know they had legs. Um, and you think I learned insects? I, I didn't. I didn't see the wings on the cricket. I think the cricket was trying to lay down, or maybe it was like sleepy because it maybe was tired because it was eating too much grass. Okay, would you start us out and share with us then? Um, um, the cricket, um, the crickets and 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 my team's terrarium. Um, they um, one was one was digging. One was digging a hole to make to make its home, and the other one was exploring around the terrarium. Okay, so it was digging. A hole. Okay, okay. Um, pick someone who wants to share, or 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 they might want to uh, comment on what you said. Melissa. Uh, well, uh, Marjorie did almost the same exact thing, just he didn't dig. Didn't dig. Okay, so what? To tell me in your your own words. What did it do? It uh, it hopped around on grass. Okay. And when he got on the hill, he hopped down. It was kind of funny. It was a girl. Okay, and you knew that because it had the little uh, the little like a tube. Yeah, okay, do you remember what that was called? No. No. Who who remembers what that's called and help her out? You can you can choose who you want to help you out. It's what is what the female has to deliver the um babies for. Okay, good, good. All right. Good job. Um what's what was surprising? And we, we, we touched it, we observed it, we um uh, we looked to see what it would do when a tent was inside. We looked and, and saw uh, how it reacted to its new home. Okay, what was surprising, James? When Ethan said we didn't know it could fly. Uh, did it fly or did it jump? It jumped um, half of um, Melissa and, um, and I almost saw it fly, but it got scared. Okay. Well, did the wings surprise you? Is that what, is that what you're, so you didn't think it had wings, right? Okay. All right. So that was an interesting discovery. It surprised, it surprised me when, um, when it, when it kept on, like every single time we took our eyes off, off the cricket, when we was right in a we um, put it back on the cricket, we couldn't find a cricket. It did somehow it like, camouflaged into the dirt and it was eating the seeds and stuff. Okay. All right. Now, um, you guys told, uh, you guys uh, found out how a plant gets its food. It makes its food. Okay. That's why it's a producer. It makes its food. How do you think the cricket's going to get its food? Does it make its own food? How does it... How does it get its food? Mm -hmm. The crickets get their food by eating the grass. Eating, eating the grass. grass. Okay, she thinks it eats the grass. How many feel the same way? How many feel that it would eat the grass? Okay. All right, what else? Anything else? Is that the only plant it might eat? Yes. It could go out and find plants to eat, and sometimes it might eat other animals. Do you think it eats animals? Okay. How, how many think crickets only eat grass or other plants? Okay. Okay. And we're going to find that out. How many think crickets eat grass and other animals or other insects? Okay. 
we two okay so we have a couple of people who think they eat both do we know what we call an animal that eats both uh plants and animals yes uh, you forgot okay think about it and share again in a moment would you say what type of animal eats both plants and other other consumers omnivore okay so an omnivore that's right so we're going to we're going to decide if it's what do we call if it only eats meat uh -huh. meat eaters yes they are meat eaters but there is another another word for that but meat eaters is still correct what else uh huh animal eaters okay carnivores carnivores very good so we've got carnivores omnivores what if it only eats plants what do we call those animals that eat only plants or herbivores herbivores good job now we have begun our food chain and we're going to continue it tomorrow i'm going to give you a word to think about and it may be a word you've heard before it may not be I'm going to challenge you overnight to find out what you think it might be. And that word is decomposer. Well, don't, well, we're thinking about it right now. I want you to check on it. And tomorrow we will share.